All this week, we've been looking forward to the opening of Portsmouth's Rivers Casino. It's the first freestanding casino in the Commonwealth's history. And while the building off Victory Boulevard may seem like it appeared overnight, then your side's Brett Hall steps away from the table to examine how we found ourselves with this hand. If opening day of Rivers Casino Portsmouth is anything like others that have opened up across the country, there will be many excited people. It has taken me 20 years, gray hair and 30 pounds to get to this point. But none will likely be more excited than State Senator Louise Lucas, who hasn't played it close to the vest when she says she wants this to be her legacy. This is the first bill to be passed in Virginia that permits uh, casino gaming. It's an important distinction to make. When the doors finally open here, this will be the state's first legalized gambling casino. First, the word casino meant something very different in Tidewater less than a century ago when the railroad would bring summer tourists to two of them at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. They were called the Seaside Park and New Ocean Casino, and they were amusement centers where swimming, dancing, and playing were the selling points as seen in this 1930s edition of the Virginian Pilot. Gaming wasn't legal. However, it was big news when 41 indictments were handed up in the mid-50s as Circuit Court Judge Floyd Kellum looked to crack down on what was happening anyway. Among those charged with having slot machines, operators of the Cavalier Hotel. Fast forward to the 1990s. The lottery and horse race gambling were newly legalized, and a younger senator says she saw the revenue benefits it could bring to her cash-strapped city. I knew it had to be something that was going to be major, something that was going to attract other businesses, and I think this casino is going to do that. Lucas first got behind proposals to bring riverboat gambling to the region, then regular casinos. Every time the legislation died in the General Assembly, much of it due to opposition from religious and family groups. But then in 2019, Lucas's luck began to change, she believes in part due to actions from neighboring states. There is a ring of fire around us. Casinos were coming up all around us. Buses of Portsmouth residents traveled to Richmond, lobbying lawmakers to allow Portsmouth to have a seat at the table. And in November 2020, the city approved gaming by referendum. Now, I'm anticipated that it's going to be a huge success. Lucas says aside from the extra tax revenue, she hopes it gives people here something to be proud of. It's not like anything we've ever had here in the city of Portsmouth. Win or lose, she's proud to have finally gotten the deal done. In Portsmouth, Brett Hall, 10 on your side. And tomorrow on Wavy News 10 at 6, investigative reporter Julie Millay has a look at the long-term economic impact of what a casino can mean for Portsmouth and Hampton Roads.